And we're back to learning Adobe Illustrator and this time I'm going to show you how to create a drip text effect. I saw someone on YouTube creating that, but he used a pen tool and I thought there must be an easier way to do it. And I guess it's this one that I'm going to show you here. Let us create some text. I'll just call it drip in all caps and I size it up. Hold shift when you do and alt. On the window type and character you can choose a font. I'm using this one Berlin Sons and I'll make it demi bold. Then right click and create outlines. And now, as I said, the guy used different pen tools to play with the anchor points, but you can also click on the toolbox for the width tool. Just right click on it and you've got a couple of tools to pick from. Keep in mind that I'm using the Essentials Classic layout. So if you can't see that toolbox, you may want to pick that as well in the top menu. So right click on the width tool and there's for example, the pucker tool and the blow tool. And these two tools will help you a lot if you want to create this drip effect. Just click on your text and then you can drag it a little bit. If it's too big, you can see that two letters are connected or two neighboring anchor points are connected. So you don't want to have to press Ctrl Z and then you want to hold Alt and then right click and move your mouse to adjust this area that you can adjust with the tool. So always hold Alt and then right click and drag it up, down, left, right to adjust it. Let us use the blow tool. It's kind of like the opposite. So it bloats up the anchor points that are next to each other. And again, you can adjust it by holding Alt and then right click and moving your mouse. And there's a much easier way to create this typical drip text effect. You don't have to directly affect these anchor points with, for example, the direct selection tool or the pen tools. And it's also much quicker. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.